Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I thought you guys were done. Listen, if you need some more time, we'll just go back there. So, um, do you want to tell her? Good news. Uh, Stuart's going to be sticking around. You changed your mind. Um, about staying in town. Yeah. Not about keeping the baby. And the Valentine's Day campaign, how's that going? Oh, you'll need to ask Avery about that. She handles all marketing. Avery? From accounting? Hmm. Since when? Uh, since the budget cuts that you authorized required a downsizing of staff. I mean, somebody has to pick up the slack. Well, if we don't turn these numbers around, there'll be no slack to pick up. Well, uh, maybe we should contact Kendall and get her take on the situation. Yeah, you do that, Val. Kendall can't be bothered coming home to see her own children, let alone for her floundering company. Oh, Erica, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean anything. No, I... You know what? I'm sorry. I really... I shouldn't have dropped that, that bomb on you like that. It's, it's just very frustrating. Kendall just isn't herself lately. I came to talk to the Adam Chandler that stood up in court today. The one who is still living with what he did to his brother. The man who, for the first time, actually showed that he has a heart. Father to father, is there anything that you would not do to protect your kids? No, I don't think so. I feel exactly the same way. I would give my life in a heartbeat to keep Emma and Spike safe. So if there is a plan, if, there, if there's some kind of plan to keep Annie out of prison, I'm, I'm just asking that you tell me. Now, let me guess, let me guess. I think you want to make a deal, right? You want to convince me to, uh, to turn on Annie, to guarantee that she's not going to go after your that daughter? She's done, everything that she has done, everything has put that little girl in danger. How many times do you think I've heard that? That Annie's a, a lunatic, that I've married to a psychopath. So when are you actually going to start to believe it, Dad? Where's JR? He's just having trouble still with the whole Adam-Annie marriage thing. Why are you here? Well, I just, I figured if I came, JR might change his mind and follow. <laughs> no one in this family changes. Not for long, at least. JR's been on and off the wagon how many times? JR is sober. For now. For good, Scott. He's healthy. He's looking at life in a whole new way. So was my uncle. After my father died, he kept saying how he wanted to be different, become the man that his brother wanted him to be. You don't think that Adam's changed? I know he's tried. I also know that he's a Chandler. Do I think that he feels guilty about what happened in this room? No question. But... But is it enough to change how he operates? Time will tell. You know, you're sounding more like your uncle by the second. The doubt and suspicion? It reminds me of when he was all paranoid that something was going on between you and Annie. He wasn't paranoid. There was. <laughs>